Yo, hello, hello, ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a game pass or swords or any other items. But today, I'll be finally making a video. I'll be trying to make videos multiple times a week if I can. And I'm thinking about making a stream where I give my Robux away. If you want to join the group, down in the description. And also, my Twitter to know when I go live on YouTube for the donation streams. Anyway, let's get into the video. In Workspace, you want to add a screen. Script. And in this script, this will be a simple script. This will check if you have a game pass. So all you want to do, you want to actually local MPS or marketplace service, whatever you want. This is just a name. Call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this MPS. Equals game. Get service. And then this put marketplace service. Now this just we just make a variable here for the service, which is a marketplace service, which is where. For example, game passes go on and stuff like that. Here, you want to do game dot players dot player added connect function. In there, you want to add player in brackets like this. You don't need this over here. And then here, you want to do mps user owns game pass async player or player to user ID, and then a game pass. ID which I'll show you how to do go up to create and now just go into your game create pass No, sorry create pass so go here and then create pass you want to add a pass I'll go choose file I have chosen my logo and then just name this for example I mean sword game pass since that's what we're gonna be adding and just call it the same thing go to preview and now what you want to do you want to verify upload and on here you want to go to configure on the left side go to sales turn it on and make it how much robux you want it to cost i'm making this 378 just a random number and save now you want to go up here copy this id and then you want to put it inside of here now down here you want to wait what this does first of all this basically checks if the current player owns this game pass and if it does wait sorry i have to do if if in front of it if and then Go down and you want to do, you want to go to up to view, toolbox, and you want to find a sword or something you want to add, whatever you want the gear to be. I'm going to add a sword. And you just want to find where it is. It's a starter pack, drag it to server storage. And now you just want to find it. So you do game dot server storage dot classic sword or whatever the name of your sword is or whatever you want to add onto the game pass. You want to do dots clone like this with a comma with a, a colon dot parent equals player player like this wait for child and now if you play the game now if you play the game you should have a sword and the reason you already have it is because obviously you own the game pass already now for example if i change this to a random number a game pass i don't own so i'm gonna change the number and then i join i shouldn't have a sword the sword shouldn't be equipped and as you can see i don't have a sword if i change it back to my game pass id go on here and i play then i have a sword in my inventory and now to make the button where you can buy the game pass i'm not going to make this all look nice go to start gui add a screen gui and in here just add a frame make it look all nice i'm not i'm just gonna add a button and in a button you want to add a local script and in a local script all you want to do is script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function go down and you want to do game get service marketplace service here you want to do and then you want to do game dot players dot local player comma and then the id of the game pass now to explain all this does this basically when you click on the button it finds a service marketplace service and it prompts you prompts a current player with this game pass and to explain all this does this basically finds where the classic sword is located and it clones it into the player's backpack. I have a sword and if I go on here, button, I should have a game pass right here. For some reason my thing's bugged and it does it, it comes up with a completely different game pass. This shouldn't happen for you and this only happens to me in Roblox Studio, it doesn't happen in game. But if you guys did enjoy, if this did help you out then do subscribe and like, but if it didn't help you out and you need help you can comment i will try help you out i just something that can help you out there's a thing i found if you don't understand codes if you want to learn more you can go to this the enigma.app 
and sometimes if you put enough code and code it understands since Lua is not the most popular coding language but the coding language Roblox Studio uses, uses is Lua it's not the most popular language but for example it explains VS Code well or C Sharp, C++ well but it does sometimes if you give enough code it does explain Roblox Studio code really well so you can use this Anyway, bye guys, and see you in a later video.